I want to go over my top five recommendations for ML projects and I'll link my recommended data set for each one. After you've learned the basics of ML, these projects are the next step to deepen your understanding. Plus, hiring managers on LinkedIn have confirmed that these actually enhance your portfolio. Let's get started. The first one I recommend is to build a sentiment analysis model. This model takes in a chunk of text, like a sentence or paragraph, and outputs a number between negative 1 and 1, where negative 1 represents strongly negative emotion and 1 represents strongly positive emotion. Building a sentiment analysis model is one of the best introductions to NLP or natural language processing. You'll become comfortable working with text-based datasets like the Amazon Reviews dataset or the Yelp Reviews dataset, which are both linked in the description. The next project I recommend is to fine-tune an open-source LLM like Llama. Choose an interesting dataset like Competition Math Problems or SQL Queries and improve the model's performance. The one catch is that you'll be using libraries like Transformers from Hugging Face, which abstract away some of the under-the-hood details. The best way to get as much value out of this project is to ensure you understand what each line of code is really doing. That way you won't be a TensorFlow Timmy. The third project on this list is to build a PDF chat application. Choose an interesting PDF from your computer and set up a workflow where you can chat back and forth with it, asking questions about the information in the document. The technique for this is called RAG, or Retrieval Augmented Generation. The central idea is to connect an LLM to a database, specifically a vector database. If you want to learn more about RAG, I have a 5 minute explanation linked in the description. The fourth project on this list is one that I don't see recommended enough. Implementing a convolutional neural network from scratch, meaning that you won't use PyTorch or TensorFlow. This project is extremely intense, so I wouldn't worry about starting this one first. But you will learn a ton from this, as you'll be coding up a CNN at the level of individual matrices and convolutions. For the dataset, a simple one like MNIST or CIFAR will suffice, and both are linked below. The final project on this list is one that you may have expected, and it's implementing a language model like GPT from scratch. For this project, you'll be using a library like PyTorch, so I recommend learning the basics first. I have a 10 minute crash course linked in the description. You can choose an interesting dataset, like a text file of all the song lyrics of your favorite artist, or a text file of all the Harry Potter books. Train the model and watch it generate new text. For this project, I highly recommend following the original paper, Attention is All You Need, in which the Transformer architecture was introduced. Best of luck with these projects, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Finally, I wanted to briefly mention the Beginner's Blueprint, a step-by-step -step package I've created to master ML fundamentals. Countless students have used the blueprint to master the fundamentals. You can read about their stories at the link in the description. Right now there's a limited time launch sale, so if you're interested, check out the link in the description to learn more. And hopefully, I'll see you soon.